Okay, I'm continuing to work through my final exam. Uh, here is problem number three. Let's get started. Hopefully you can find the other problems. Uh, ball launcher that shoots an 18 gram ball with an initial speed of five meters per second. So I'm gonna put that V0 equals five meters per second. Suppose you place the launcher on the ground and aim at 55 degrees above the, hor the horizontal and this is 1.2 meters away. When the ball hits the wall, how high will it be? So it's going to go like this. And I want to find, let's call that Y2. Okay. So in terms of projectile motion, we know the following. I have X motion. The key thing is that the X motion and the Y motion can be treated independently. So the X motion, I'm going to say X equals X naught plus VX T. And Vx, the initial x, which is the final x, there's no acceleration, is going to be V0 cosine of theta. Because if I shoot this ball, that's my initial x velocity, V0x, is going to be, that's V0, that's theta, V0 cosine theta. My initial y is going to be V0y is V0 sine theta. Now the y velocity is going to change. So I, I don't really need much here because I want to solve for the time. So let's pick, this is my origin. So I'm gonna say x zero equals zero and I actually know the final x too. The final x is 1.2 meters. So what could I solve from this problem? I could get the time. I could solve for the time because when I get over here to the y motion, that's the thing that these two solutions share is time. So let's solve this for the time. I'm gonna get, uh, move down a little bit, I get Vxt equals x minus x0, so t equals x minus x0 over V0 cosine theta. That's how long it takes. And my initial x is 0, and that's 1.2, so that's pretty easy. Now in the y motion, I'm going to get this equation, y equals y0 plus Vy0t minus one half g t squared. So the key difference here is that there is a vertical acceleration of negative 9.8, which is g. Uh, so I have this extra term in there. Okay, so I want, I know the initial y is zero. I know the initial y zero is that. And I know, I want to find the y at that time. So all I have to do is say y equals v zero y, which is v zero sine theta times t, but that's t, x over v0 cosine theta minus one half g times t squared, which is gonna be x over v0 cosine theta squared. So I can put in my values. So I get y equals, right here, those v0s cancel, so I get sine of 55 times 1.2 over cosine of 55. I could have written that as tangent. I, I, feel, I feel silly now for not doing that, but that's fine. Minus 1 half times 9.8 times 1.2 squared over 5 squared times cosine squared of 55. That's it. Let's put it in the calculator. Okay, you can see that. Drop. So the first thing I'm going to do this, I'm going to go ahead and do sine over cosine is tangent. So I'm going to say 55 tangent. And then multiply that by 1.2. And then that's that whole number. I'm going to leave it there. And then this is going to be negative 0.5. I'm just going to subtract it. So I'll say 0.5 enter 9.8 times 1.2 squared. Now I need to divide by 5 squared, 5 squared divided by. Now I'm going to take the cosine of 55, square that, and then divide by that. Now I'm going to subtract those two numbers. Now I'm going to multiply that. Did I not multiply that already? Now I'm going to subtract. 0 0.85, 0 0.86. That's the answer. I feel like I made a mistake, 
because I wasn't really paying attention there, but I'm going to go with that. And even if it is wrong, and if I'm grading my own work, I've shown all my steps. The only place I could have made a problem is down here. Uh, if, if I did that, I'd prob I might even give myself full credit. It depends. Yeah, probably. Because I showed good work. Okay.